Hello everyone and welcome to Zelda Speedruns. Today we have another Link to the Past randomizer challenge cup match. This is the group P tiebreaker between Gabriel Campos and Myandium. On commentary today we have Maddie and Talon and tracking today we have Scoopula. And I will leave it to the commentators. All right, thank you very much. Welcome, everyone, to another awesome race in the Challenge Cup. Another uh, great tiebreaker, and today we've pulled uh, Open Heart. I'm Taylor 116 and here's Maddie. Hey. Hey, Taylor. Yeah. Uh, play and race. How exciting. Yeah, so I think that's the situation here, right? Win and you're in? Win and you're, yeah. We, we couldn't decide it with the, uh, the regular six uh, group stage matches. Uh, we have to do this extra seventh secret uh, game. To decide who gets to go on as the uh, second uh, participant from Group P. Yeah, these gamers were too good. Two games was not enough. We needed simply a third. It was really like playing each other. They wanted they wanted to do it another time. And here we go. A piece of heart. Stop me if you've heard that before. Oh yeah, this mode has a lot of those. Uh, this is a, uh, it's open, but with a, a modified uh, pool with uh, silvers and bows separated into, there's only one bow and then silvers are their own item. Uh, there's 48 heart pieces and uh, there's no mail upgrades. There's no half magic. Uh, swords are limited to tempered and uh, shields to fighter shield. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And there's only one bottle. And when you find that bottle, it will always be empty. So the, the the lack of half magic in the not bottle and the only one bottle can really be sticking points in this, but it's okay. You have a shield. Yeah, and we we get the shield, so there will be no more shields. So I like finding that hundred bucks though. That's gonna make the bottle vendor easily available right off the top, but nothing much in the open in the uncle start. The uncle start being my preferred start. Mine as well. Ah, a man of culture. That's right, yes. No advantage or disadvantage in this particular race because they both did it. Uh, so uh, it's it's fair and even. As they should. They should. Everyone should do it. Mandy, I'm giving the, the crowd what they need with a map check. Looks like a red crystal at Eastern, regular crystal at Desert, and then a pendant at Hera. Nice bomb drop from bush crab. Yeah, we'll see if Mandy wants to go up and check the bush crab that's above this tunnel. Uh, hopefully they do if they want some bombs. Oh, nice book! Yes! Oh, yeah. It's great to see an item like that on the uh, lumberjack ledge. Probably something that you're just going to just ignore and hope just doesn't you, that you don't need. For, for a while, unless you have like a real good reason, that, like you have to beat Aga to get to the Dark World anyway. A little extra pocket change uh, with the Thieves drop down, but our runner is definitely geared up for Kakariko now with enough money and bombs to get everything they need. Yeah, Book I feel like has been an interesting item lately. Uh, one of my tourney races, Book was on the pedestal and it was hard required. <laughs> it's a small love-hate relationship with that Book right now. Uh, Mayan Demon did not go and actually look at that, did he? He's... No, Mayan Demon skipped the the Lumberjack check. Probably okay. one of the things they'll go back and grab, but once they have boots, maybe? Yeah. For now, blissfully unaware that that book is there. So, Gabriel gonna grab their information. There's an ether for us. Yeah, now we'll get a very traditional CAC clear here. Uh, Gabriel will be trailing Mandium probably uh, this whole next few minutes. 
right? But that information in the Lumberjack, that's that's going to weigh on their mind for quite a while, I would bet. Just pretend it doesn't exist. I think you kind of have to for now until something really cracks open. There's no way I would want to chase that right away, but ugh. It would be haunting me. I don't like knowing about it, you're right. <laughs> Do you like spare change and heart pieces? We have spare change and heart pieces. Yeah, whether you like it or not, that's what you get in this mode. Yeah, pretty dead Rico so far. Just the Ether medallion, which may or may not be actually needed. Um, really nothing else of uh, note here. Yeah, this is definitely a seed so far that the, the CAC skippers are winning. Didn't even get bombs. I think they ended up bomb neutral in this uh, Kakariko. Yeah, there was just that one small pile of bombs in Blind's hut, and that's about it, so... Bushcrab's really being the hero so far. Line check of race game doesn't quite pay off. I get another heart piece. Might as well take it. Yeah, if you did the work to get there, you might as well just grab it. Yeah, both runners going for the blind check. I don't blame them. As empty as Kakariko was, it'd be easy to think, well, there has to be something here, right? Yeah, you would think. So my Indium's doing the damn first. Uh, we'll see if Gabriel follows or goes over. Um, oh, looks like he's going to go over to the uh, Saha Eastern area. Yeah, I like this play. You have enough bombs to get to the back of Saha's hut. If you want to dip Eastern, you can. Um, and yeah, even if you can just grab some more money if you want to plan on fake flippering later for Zora out of logic, there's, there's options there. And with everything being so poor at this point, you know, dry that, you know, some odd change like that might pay off. But nope, just going to grab some bombs, I guess. So yep. never mind everything I just said. Yep, actually, that was not a play to Easter. It was just a play to buy bombs. Yeah, my name going over and doing uh, Agina uh, after Dam. And uh, at this point, when you have like so little, I mean, I don't, I don't see why, why not. But of course, it only has a piece of heart. Gabriel doing a great job dodging all the Dindians of the desert who are looking to do him some harm. Maybe I'm gonna grab some more bombs from this bush crab. Yeah, it needs a few more to, to finish off uh, the Moldarm's mini Moldarm cave, and this is a very convenient bush crab located along the way. The bush crab, realizing what mode it's in, decides to give a heart piece when it uh, gets to that mythic seventh drop. Just 
need the mold arms to play nice with these. Oh my goodness. Which they do not. <laughs> but he gets through it. Get it open. Maybe there'll be an actual weapon in here. Or maybe there'll be the moon pearl. Okay, there we go. That's got to feel a little bit better. We've got something. Shield, uh, uh, shovel's not ideal, uh, but... It's fine just whack him with a shovel. I mean, I guess if you're going to get the shovel, it's better to get it now before there's a bunch of open opportunities to go elsewhere. Yeah, hey, you might not put it off uh, early in the game like this, but I know I like to check fetch chests as soon as possible when I get them in the early game, but, uh, you know, the strategy's not for everyone. Yeah, I, I agree with you on that one, especially when you get fetch quests, even especially the mushroom, it, it just feels like if you're getting it early, it has to have something, right? Uh, no, the answer is no, actually. It doesn't always, always have anything. It does, does not have to, yeah. That's, it's always my thought that, like, it, it probably, it, I mean, it's a higher chance that it does, but... Oh, nice drops from those Moldorms there for the magic refill. Yeah. Yep, we'll just do the shovel check right now. Why not? And it's nothing. So, uh, yeah, logically, uh, not a lot of options here for my Indian. Either front of escape or Saha Eastern and choosing front of escape. Because what if you get a bone? Right, and then having that small key out of Sanctuary already, if they really want to push it, they can just go through the escape the old-fashioned dark way. Yes. A lot of dark room traversal. None of them particularly hard, but... There's that one bottle we'll get, at least on uh, my Indian side. Escape looking like to me the right choice, and luckily Gabriel's gonna follow right behind, it seems. Yeah, we got some gloves, which, I, I mean, it does let you get up to the mountain. There's no logic there, but you can if you want. It's, it's also the second piece of the puzzle to uh, get into the Dark World. Now we just need a hammer or mitts. Hey, my Indian not interested in even Dark Cross. Uh, just done with uh, Escape at this point. Yeah, I'm going to take those gloves to the back and then hope not to find the map. And it might just be buried in Dark Cross. Yeah, that's a good call. Oh, no. Oh. I thought maybe. You know, it's always like that, too. It's the last one. Yeah, 
I mean, I'm just gonna be like, nope, that check yep. is dead to me. We're leaving it. Staying in, in logic, it's not, you know, you can do it, but it's not in logic. So, thinking perhaps it might not have anything that uh, will help me right now. Speaking of logic, our runners with that glove can now do Zora, but they're going to need some serious upgrades in their bank accounts. Uh, yes, uh, Zora does not allow the poor to come uh, to come by and pick up anything, so there's a little bit of money in Eastern if you want, but uh, yeah. Alright, so me and Nim's gonna have to do what people generally do not like to do, which is a uh, dip of Eastern here without a bow. Gabriel, on the other hand, gonna give Dark Cross a shot. Yeah, as you said, Maddie, not the hardest Dark Rooms to do, but that Snake Room can get a little dicey. Yeah, you, you, there are just there are so many of them in a tight space. Uh, luckily with the sword, you can kind of, you know, slash around, spin, kill them, but uh, they can slow things down at the very least. Just another hard piece. Stop me if you've heard that one before. So, Mandium's choice not to go back that way and stay in logic is going to pay off as long as he doesn't go back there for it. Yeah, and then Gabriel's just going to walk back there. Uh, not just, just uh, <laughs> I guess, figures I'm down here now. Anyway, I might as well uh, just follow this all the way and, and not have to, to save and quit and drop down. Yeah, and I like this play. You've got the medallion fighting that key rat in the dark. Kind of annoying. Yeah, it gets it. All right, crabs there, hot nothing. Now we'll see what they want to do. All right, Eastern logical checks, not the answer, it seems. Yeah. So logically, I think that just leaves Zora. Um, I think Sick Kid's on the list Oh, here. yep, you're right, exactly right. Yep, Sick Kid, good call. So yeah, yeah, both of them are, are a bit of a walk, and uh, I mean, uh, the bonus, the benefit to doing Sick Kid first is that we don't have to pay him. <laughs> yeah, and if I'm checking Sick Kid in this at this point, I'm climbing the mountain out of logic, too. Like, you yeah, get a little yeah. more bang for that buck, I think. I just want to see if I can get some money, maybe, instead of... Because uh, at this point, I mean, it's a hula hand to try to farm some, some rupees. Yep. And, and that's not a bad shout, to just start, knock the hula hand out, put you back at uh, Link's house, and then you can just kind of do some fake flipping from there. Nice mirror. Yeah, I mean, we can do a little bit on the mountain. It, it, <laughs> it won't be in logic, but, uh, you know, you can go into that pendant hair. That's exciting. <laughs> Yeah, that would that would be a good pull at this point too. I think even if it is Zora, you got enough up there to keep you entertained. Oh, but it looks like me and Dim heard you. Maybe gonna do Hula Hand here. Yeah, it looks like. And got it. Great job using that bomb strat. Yeah, this is uh, maybe just thinking, like, I would like to stay in logic. Like, I can go to the mountain and I can go to hair, uh, uh, but that's not what I'm supposed to do right now. And I'm trying to get my Dark World access. 
Yep, I'm I'm just fine with the call to stay in logic here. And with that fake flipper, you can grab a you know if you're gonna you want a fake flipper, you can grab the hobo if you want. Oh, it just looks like maybe more bombs. If they're free, might as well. Yeah, let's take some. Flipper here while uh, Gabriel uh, completes his tour of Easter Palace and gets the bad news that there's nothing in here. Yeah, and we've already seen Gabriel being pretty confident with their darkroom navigation, so I feel confident they'll grab their mirror just as easy as me and did. Yeah, I, I don't really. I don't really see him leaving without it. Oh, my Indian took the opportunity doing the fake flipper uh, to go ahead and go up to the man of the bridge, get uh, a red rupee for his troubles. Yeah, robbing him for a little bit of cash he had left. Wow. You do not want to get hit uh, <laughs> after uh, when you fake flippering uh, after uh, going to the man under bridge because you get stuck for quite a while. Yeah, if you're a fake flippering and get hit, the game tries to put you back on the ledge you came off of, and when it's under the bridge, the game goes a little crazy, and it takes quite a while. Nice master sword. Yes, there's yeah, there's nice. Uh, we can go and uh, you know egg a tower and start looking to try to get that book. I did not even catch that ledge. I did not know what it was. I'm sorry. Uh, just a full heart. One of the few, uh, actually, in this uh, mode. Most of the, heart, the hearts that are available are heart pieces, uh, not heart containers, but that was one of them. I like our tracker's answer. It's just four more pieces of heart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice boots. Okay. Well, I mean, that was... <laughs> that doesn't get us anywhere yet, but that's nice. And it does open up uh, one more check for us here. Yeah, Mandium deciding to stay in logic is uh, paying off a little bit, but yeah, I think I think our tracker's got it right again. <laughs> I, they'd probably go check Lumberjack here and go, oh no. Oh yeah. Well, oh, there's Dark World Access. So Gabriel went up to the mountain here. Um, definitely going to be a bit behind getting to those boots and mitts. Could be something else up here that makes it worthwhile, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, and money on the old man might force them back to Zora a little faster. But they won't. He, he won't have to hula hand. That's 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 nice at least. Green Pendant TR, regular Pendant sitting in pod, and the last red crystal hanging out in Misery Mire. It's vanilla location. And meanwhile, the ice rod there on Sicket. Uh, uh, of course, the ice rod is is uh, is freely available, easy to find when TR is pendant.
And Hare getting locked out pretty quickly without fire or hookshot, so Gabriel done. Let's see where they want to go now. Gotta think we're doing Zora with the money that we got from Old Man, and the fact that it's basically one of the only two things that he can do. Yeah, and that's actually probably pretty lucky. If they'd have found something like Hammer on the mountain, they could have been a long time before they got those boots. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Gabriel is, uh, uh, did not go the, do the fake clipper to uh, Man on the Bridge, and also did not go into uh, Waterfall Case. It's going to miss out on that Master Sword for a little bit, at least. Yeah, maybe he didn't want to risk the chance of getting bumped and having to be put back and just decided to stay in the logic a little bit here. Yeah, I wasn't sure if he uh, was a little worried about getting hit and was trying to go to the right, to the left, and just kind of accidentally lost the water, uh, water, uh, the fake clipper. But regardless, gets the important boots here. Um, we'll get him back on the on the track. All right, here's the here's the lumberjack check for me in. Uh, so I guess the bad news that there's a book that he has to think about now. Yeah, and you know you're gonna need that flute anyway, so now you're really begging for that flute. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to deal with that book at all. Just let me get desert and make the the tablets nothing, please. Yes. Yeah, I mean, at least we know that we will be getting the flute at some point. Um, because uh, Mr. Meyer is also a crystal. However, it could be in Desert Palace. Uh, and the only way to get into it at that point would uh, to be to get that book. Trossi, you stop. You stop right now. One of the the chatters yes, is calling for flute in desert. Yeah, no, let's not let's not put that on these uh, these poor runners. Alright, so we got both of them being a little thorough and doing uh, these North Dark World checks first uh, before heading into BOO. In Gabriel's case, is doing it even before uh, the Skull Woods uh, dive. Yeah, this is one of those checks that you, you kind of play against your opponent on that one. Like, well, if there's something here and they ditch it, that puts me ahead, so I can't leave it behind. These low density plays that you know could really be a bailout later down the road if there's something here. Yeah, at least with the mirror and boots, you, you're not leaving any of them behind. Uh, there's the fire rod out of uh, the chess game, so it's a uh, possible now to to go back up the skull woods and finish that if uh, my Indian wants to. I would guess that they will before they leave this area. With having the mirror and mitts, you're probably going to do the smith chain out of here, so... Oh, I am completely wrong. Maybe me and Dame's waiting for the hammer for Thieves Town? Oh yeah, we're not even going to do Thieves Town either, okay. 
And <laughs> we do need money to do Dig Game. We are just uh, six rupees short, so we'll get a, uh, a rare treat, the, uh, the uh, Arrow Rupee Game, uh, in a non-inverted seed. There it is. Good 99, me and yeah, Giving the crowd what they want to see. Got there him. Bang go. on the banana. Well done. Money so money problems are solved with the rest of the seed. Yeah, responding to our tracker in chat. Definitely want to have that money in the pocket for Pod just in case as well. Yeah, I, I didn't really uh, pay uh, close enough attention to when me and Neon was in uh, Skull Woods, and I don't know if uh, all uh, both items were already available in the uh, in the front, and if the back is just clear. I think there was only one piece of heart in the front in Pinball Room. I think the rest was dungeon items. And nice can of Samaria out of the dig game. Yeah, we did need that, so it's so another piece of the puzzle found here. Speaking of pieces of the puzzle, if you get a hammer, you do TR. Oh yeah, <laughs> assuming it's uh, there's a you know, two thirds chance we've got the, the right uh, medallion for it here. Oh great shout! Yeah, that's a good point. But man, it's one of those I... times like when you're in rando, and the game gives you here's these pieces for ice pinned ice palace early. Sometimes you think, well, there's something pinned ice palace, isn't there? Oh no. Given the way that we've gotten everything else for TR, uh, I have to imagine that one of those two medallions we have is the one that will... Is one yeah, of the that's what I'm thinking. And Hammer's what? Probably just sitting in Hype Cave, right? Yeah, or or in, in Pod. It's 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 in, it's often in Pod. Right. right. It's Especially with, a mitts, with Mitt's access to Dark World, that Hammer can be real troll real quick. Yeah. And immediately after playing the Rupee Arrow game, a uh, bunch of Rupees are there in uh, uh, K45 just to mock my Indian. And as Gabriel uh, enters VOO, I'm interested to see if he will decide to do any of these down. Yeah, I am I am one of those that sits on the side of, if I can beat Thieves Town, I'm going to. And if the big chest is what beats me, then so be it. Yeah, I mean, particularly in an open mode when there's a chance that uh, you know the big chest just has a dungeon item or anything like that anyway. Man, man, DM, what are, what are you doing, bud? Yeah, there you go. No flippers. Nice try, though. I appreciate it. It's a, a good, a, a interesting idea, yes. But uh, yeah, without the, without the flippers, you can't even get that one, that one chest without the hammer. Yeah, I, I am one who will dip Swamp Palace on nothing, so I appreciate the effort there. All right, so Gabriel is going to give us a show into Thieves Town here. Yeah, at least the front. Uh, we'll see you out the back. All right, well, nothing on that whole uh, South Dark World loop. Remind him. Beyond the powder, that gets you excited. Uh, 
All right, me and I'm gonna journey back into the dark world. I would guess probably for not Skull Woods. Never mind. And it looks like Gabriel is gonna go ahead and push the entire dungeon here. Has already found the small key though. Uh, yeah. My name is going to 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 rush that uh, magic bat with that powder that he uh, just uh, got. Why go into Dark World first? You have to without the hammer. Oh, okay. I think I would have gone and done Skull Woods and just worked it in on my way down, though. Yeah, but then you can't rush it like this. It's just arrows. You know, Gabriel is uh, living on a nice edge here in the back of Thieves. Oh, oh nice oh. heart pickup. Oh, uh, that's got to be one of the more clutch sink heart pickups. <laughs> they knew what they were doing the whole time. No stress. Just gamer. That's that. That's great. That's amazing. Okay, now my name is going to do with the the back school to finish this finish this off and give our give us our first dungeon clear. Unless Gabriel beats him to it here in Thieves Town. We heard you like fairies, so here's some fairies. There's fairies flying all over Skullwoods. Lots of fairies, no bug net. Alright, looks like it's a 50-50 shot, whether Blind has an item or the map. Great scripted fight there by Gabriel. A little juking and jiving in the middle and put him down. Well done. And there is an item in the big chest. I agree with his decision to do that, with, especially with the key in the front, because it did put um, everything else in the logic back there. So, uh, didn't get anything and left something behind, but uh, for his sake, hopefully it's nothing. Yeah, just like uh, me and DM left behind Dark Cross, let's hope that the uh, chest Gabriel leaves behind turns out being nothing as well. Oh. <laughs> well, um, gonna... we are going to find out pretty quickly, I think, whether that big chest was something, because my name just pulled a hammer from, from Mothula. And had me and done this first, he wouldn't have had to do the Dark World stuff to get the magic back. That's very true. <laughs> I understand it's hindsight. It doesn't matter. I was right. Alright, okay, we're going to do the dig game. Grab their cane of Samaria, and then I would guess probably the rest of the South and Smith chain items. Yeah, it looks like he's also going to put uh, the moth kill off until he's completed all of this. This is, I mean, it's all, it's all fine. This is stuff you're going to do anyway. Um, responding to a question in chat with that hammer, we can now go into Pendant Pod. Bolas Pendant Pod. Yeah. And catfish at Pyramid Ledge. Yes, all that. Why not just go up to the mountain now? Oh, I guess no logic. Never mind. Without a lamp or a flute, though. There's, yeah. East Side Mountain, not quite in logic. But with that fire rod, to do some more fun stuff in Hera. Uh, the fire rod was chess game, I think. 
Yes, chess game. That was a really unfortunate mirror spot by Gabriel. I was like holding my breath, like, please don't move, please don't oh, move, yeah, please don't, don't move. Don't move, don't move. It's a big, uh, big open area, you're free to go down quite a bit farther. Runners always make me nervous when they do this little strat and they leave their item on the mirror. I'm just like, please, <laughs> please don't push Y. Don't. My anxiety is already rising. Like, come on, man. We got quip swap for a reason. Just get off that thing. I have definitely, they, make it, they make it just fine. I have definitely swapped to something else so I don't accidentally mirror. A lot yeah, of that's on. me. Uh, for anyone in chat who doesn't know how that trick works, when you grab a follower like the purple chest, there's a flag set that's put up that doesn't really check it again if you have it until you like mirror transition to the light world so you can just leave the purple chest of the dark world and run and mirror near the bottle vendor and then it checks to see if you have it right when you turn it in it's like yeah you're good all right potentially big moment as me and name is about to open the big chest in thieves town see what uh gabriel left behind oh, oh no. no oh my no that is That's a bit of a backbreaker. Yeah, so that's probably going to end up being our logical mountain access. Um, Gabriel does have... has gone up on the mountain. And... Yeah, it could be a little bit before he ends up getting back to where he's in a situation where there's nothing left but that big chest. Yeah, here's hoping that the options are so limited after getting the hammer that they feel like there's no better time to go back for that check than right now. Or not do... Oh, either are they mirroring for Magic Bat as well? It would appear so, yes. <laughs> Someone explain this to me. <laughs> Someone explain to me why this is a good idea. I need to know. I don't have anything for you. Mandium taking some time to show the chickens. Yes, I have a hammer. Look at my pretty, pretty hammer. Just on the 20. How can there be any red rupees left? I feel like our runners have found them all. There are many of them. There are many of them, but <laughs> I still feel like we've found them all. Remember once upon a time when Mindium had to, like, do a hula hand for money? I do remember, yeah. <laughs> oh, younger days. And now he's loaded. It's more money than he'll ever know what to do with. Very 
we're essentially going to go check the mire area, see if we can get in the mire. Um, if one of those two medallions we have is the one from Malier, uh, from Meyer, he can beat it. And it is, it's Bobos. Uh, is going to go ahead and take care of Desert here first. While Gabriel starts in on a moth fight with the Fighter Sword. Yeah, and I, I don't think there's anything in that bottle if this gets a little dicey, having not been to the Waterfall Ferry for the free ferry give out. Yeah, but, but great uh, fight! Yeah, really nice job. Uh, got it done, gets the hammer. Yeah, took their time, really patient, and uh, got the swings in, in, in when they needed it, but... Maddie, if you grab that hammer having already done Thieves Town, are you thinking, oh no? <laughs> or like, well, too bad, dead. I, I'm thinking, it's dead, yeah. And I'm, yep. I'm, I, I, I'm in a horrible position, because that's what I would have done. <laughs> oh, 100%, I would have done it too. But looks like they're running back to the Dark World. We'll see if they want to stop in or if they're just trying to get to the pod area. Well, I mean, you have the hammer now. You would just start at Link's house, so maybe this is them going back in. That would be that would be something I would not do. <laughs> no, but it would be an absolute clutch move if that's the case. All right. Nah, it looks like maybe it's just hammer oh, pegs. Hammer pegs. Make sure you don't leave that behind. Yeah, I was hoping. Alright, we see me and Diamon on the other side pushing their way toward Len Molus. It looks like Gabriel may be paying a visit to Ice Palace. Yes, that would, uh, it looks like, yeah, this is... So this is a, a dungeon that he completed, uh, not in Logic currently without the flippers, but there's still a few other things that we're looking for uh, that could be here. Nice use of the bomb strap there. That is always so swag when someone pulls that off. Nice.
So just on Fighter Sword, so this dungeon, not the most fun to try to get through, but very doable. Both our runners really showing off some good execution through these dungeons as well. Yeah, hard mode, what's that? And as always, Godmire, when you don't need it to be. It's a gross place for that lamp, sitting in mire. As Gabriel what? pulls out the third item out of Ice Palace, it's not a lot of things to progression in here, but we'll get their crystal. It is a gross place for the, uh, the lamp there, but kind of a relief. I mean, the mire dark room is doable, um, and I'm sure that Mind Beam can do it, but it's nice to not have to do it. Yeah, that's actually a great point. Uh, Meyer Dark Room is one of the more brutal ones, so that lamp is a pretty clutch call. And considering the the loadout for the Vidi fight, we want as much health as possible uh, going in there because it's it's not going to be the most super fun one. Chat immediately on top of the possibilities here. That the book is now in logic. The book, yeah, the book. Wait, no, wasting no time to call that out. Um, actually, it's not because one of the swords we have was in Waterfall uh, Cave. Uh, we don't actually have flippers yet. Oh, great call. That's actually very true. Take that, chat. So, no book yet. Mindy, I'm taking an unfortunate couple of bops to the face, but has that fairy. Yep. Beatrice and Cold Sear, two bosses that not really fun on on Green Mail, turns out. Yeah, or with these low swords and no bow, magic, anything. Gabriel's got holds there down. Mind Deem is in the second phase of Beatrice here. Uh, Gabriel once again showing the nice, uh, good patience and boss knowledge to get through some of these harder fights on low equipment. Yeah, he's still rocking the fighter sword, so uh, yeah, doing a doing a nice job of getting through these bosses. And Mind Deem has gotten Vitrius uh, down very nicely. Nice. Just just takes a long time with the Master Sword. <laughs> just the, that final phase. It looks like Gabriel's going to go explore Pendant Pod. If there's any Pod Believers in chat, to the front, please. Yeah, 
And Minium's gonna fly, I would guess... To oh yeah, potion jump. Gonna get a little bit of a refill. And then I would guess time to explore the mountain for them. Yeah, Gabriel, having done Out of Logic Ice Palace, is now on to one of the few things that he has left that's in Logic, uh, not having that blue. The Lion Diem doing the same thing here, going to fake flipper his way into ice. Yeah, I don't know if I like this play in this regard. The mountain's pretty dense, you can do all of it. You're not gonna find the flippers here and you know you need them. So... Yeah, he just needs three items, the bow, hook shots, and flippers. And there's a possibility that you could find the flippers last and get to, to, to have Ice Palace be a, a go-mode dungeon for you. And it looks like our pinned pot is bow locked today. I think for Gabriel, that means the only thing they have left in Logic is Pyramid Ledge, Catfish, and the Thieves Town Big. I think that's true as well, yes. And I get it, if you can Mimic Clip, I'm not leaving this either, but... Especially since this mode is hard open and there's only one bow, you know you're not going to find it in this dungeon. Yeah, and it'll be interesting if he's thinking about that and he realizes, you know, what the uh, the logic situation is for him in terms of, well, Thieves Town Big's just, like, pretty likely has progression in, at, at this point. Um, especially if you go and check uh, Pyramid and Catfish after this and they don't have anything, then you know there's something there. Right, because their mountain is still out of logic. Yes. Um, but having the access to the mountain that they do, I would expect. I mean, you just you keep oh, pushing that play at this point now, right? Don't you? I think you 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 hope that like the thing you're leaving behind at that point is the lamp for the uh, for that mountain access. Right. And good mimic clip from Gabriel. They're gonna keep exploring this dungeon. Want to welcome in raiders uh, from Super Mammal World. Thank you very much. You're seeing a tiebreaker play-in match in the Challenge Cup. Between me and DM and Gabriel J. Campos, and we have open heart today. I'm gonna take a moment to shout out our tracker Scupula doing all the hard work so we don't have to. Okay, I understand that the cane strat is relatively simple to do, but I, I don't understand how that one works. Yeah, I'm not really clear either, uh, but it's really cool looking. Honestly, if you're Gabriel at this point, finding anything in pod would be a huge benefit. That means your opponent has to go through here at some point. It might be something that buys them a little time later. Yeah, so far hasn't hasn't been rewarded with this pod play. Yeah, and being bow locked so early might be some of the reason why, but... Who knows, that bow could just be sitting somewhere in the paradox. Yeah. In, in this case, with there only being the one bow, um, that you aren't going to get a bailout second bow here in the back or something like that. But 
but yeah, it doesn't look like it. Pod, as it turns out, is a lie today. And on me and DM's side, blinking you miss it, cold stare down. Master Sword really speeding up that fight. Yes. That is their fifth crystal. Yep, we just need the three items to complete two more dungeons. So. And yeah, at this point we're going to get my name on the mountain. And it's going to have all, a lot of uh, checks to go through here, because he, he has not gone up at all. Uh, yeah, to answer a question in chat. Yeah, the mirror was on the lamplock side of Eastern Palace. Both runners broke that pretty early. Oh, the... <laughs> no, uh, come back. Fairy. Fairy. No, come back. With all that trouble to get it, it just pieced out. Since it's coming up in chat, we might as well play along. The things that can be on pedestal. Yes. <laughs> the flippers. <laughs> the hook shot. Yeah. Alright, a nice little uh, Samaria uh, splash delete for uh, Gabriel here. I'm going to finally, oh, collect that, finally collect that Master Sword. Yeah, that's going to be a welcome set, I'm sure. Where have you been my whole life? Yeah, both the runners showing off great tech and great execution. This is a really good race. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. At this point, if Gabriel is keeping track, he knows that there's something in the Seastown Town Big's chest. Um, and yeah, just going to leave it for now, which makes sense. I hope it's a, hope it's a lamp. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and you have to be playing that way at this point. You have to be just, okay, that's got to be a lamp, right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Please. And then you would be able to, you know, if you found the, uh, if you found the, the, the lamp up here on the mountain, then you could deduce that the flute is in there. Um, but that's not going to happen because we know it's admire. Uh, so it depends on you know what else we find up here on the mountain, uh, what direction that Gabriel will be pushed in and pushing back away from that thieves down big chest. Oh, okay, your logical agus now already. Now it's lot now books and logic yes. And the number of checks are starting to run thin. Yeah, we've done a fair amount of the mountain. Um, I don't think we've seen the, the, the Turtle Rock yet, but I'm going to guess that we can do that. Yeah, I would think so. We had items for that pretty early, and it's green pendant. I am 100% clearing that if I have the option. Yeah, especially if I find nothing else up here. Those are mushroom. Oh, good. A mushroom. 
Wait, abandon, abandon the mountain climb. Let's just get that mushroom and turn that in first. It's the right thing to do, clearly. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, oh, no, it's, it's going to be not. a vanilla TR. No, we can't do TR well. Quake under the mat, anyone? Do have a few more uh, places that the Quake could be up here, yes. Super Bunny, Hookshot Cave, even Hera. Spike Cave. Yeah, that's a great point. There is an item in Hera left. Well, all right. Well, yeah. Turtle sort of rocks back on the menu. Oh, so uh, close! I thought he was man. gonna get it. It looked like he was on the. It looks like he was well on the way there. Yeah, uh, Mandium, I agree. Mandium's a successful hover some of the time, so one shot. That's good enough to say no, thank you. Yeah, I agree with the decision to just bag it at that point. Like we gave it a try, it almost worked. I forget it. I have to assume that Gabriel will follow suit once finding Quake, that they're, again, keep pushing that play that the Thieves Town big chest has to be nothing, and it, it has to be last, and just push, push, push for whatever you can. Getting something, yeah. Which, as you were saying before, it would have been great if Lamp was up here to give them that indication, oh no, it has to be, but... Right. I mean, you know, it it could be something else, too. Like, it could be the bow, which leads to something on Armos Knights, um, but like, yeah, he's just not going to get any information uh, to tell him that that's the flute. Because the lamp is blocked by the flute, so... Yeah, it's it's a, a pretty rough situation, to be honest. But into TR, something we were talking about, I don't know, 30-ish minutes ago. So I guess the question is, is there any one item that gets you to leave TR, or are you committed to full clearing this no matter what? I I think I'm I'm I think I'm committed to full clearing because I need three more items right now. Especially right. if that especially if that one, you know, uh, especially at this point, the one item which item is it that would make you want to leave? Because the bow, I mean that gives you pod, uh, logically, I guess, uh, which may or may not be logic anyway. Um, but also just armless knights. Uh, the hookshot hit you hookshot cave you can't do anything without the uh, flippers and if you get the flippers you know that's just the front of swamp you've already done ice right completely agree so I, I need i need two items before i think about leaving and at that point you're probably in the back anyway yeah i would have to find like i would need to find flippers hook before the big like at big chest for me to be like mm, maybe i'm done yeah because you like maybe the boat's just in swamp but again, at that point, you're halfway done. You might as well just do laser bridge. And you know that, like, uh, yeah, Turtle Rock is pretty back backlogged, so there's a lot of items in the back uh, due to the way the keys work and everything. So yeah. it's real tough to leave that behind because it's, it's a long ways back. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, uh, responded to someone in chat bringing up, if you find the hookshot in the front four, do you mirror out and go grab hookshot cave just in case? That's not a bad shout. Yeah, I think, you know, if it's, if it's really if it's really early, I, I don't think that's a bad idea. Um, 
but I think, yeah, I think like where where they are now, I think I, I'm just going to finish it and then I'll just get Hookshot Cave when I'm done with TR. Right, because if there are runners, remember, Spy Cave is also available. You're going to run down and grab that before you leave the mountain, I would hope. Yeah, depending on, if I get two items in a turtle rock, I'm probably skipping Spike, especially if I can beat Swamp. But if I get nothing, or just one item, then yeah, I'm going to Spike it. That's a nice job by I need him to grab that the uh, remember to grab that little uh pot of magic uh before leaving there. It was really low and uh you need you need magic uh to get uh you know to get your little ride going with the Cane of Samaria. Uh, to even cross the, the little bridge that's coming up here to get to the big chest. Yeah, Tiara. Pretty magic intensive dungeon. There's some full decanters where you need them, but need that little bit in the middle to get through like dark maze and such. So good heads up play. Yeah, and he does have a blue potion, so he could refill the magic, but you don't really want to use that blue potion or something like that. Yeah, especially when you're going to be on a most likely a master sword trinex. I mean, you can do hammer strats, but they go sideways a little bit, and you're in trouble. Yeah, it's, it's just nice to have that safety for if I actually you know, mess up a couple times too much on on Trinex. I have the you know I don't have to worry about running out of magic. Ooh. Just eat just enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Gabriel does not have any magic or anything in his bottle other than the. I think he's got a fairy. Um. Oh, does he have a blue potion? Okay. Nice hook. And nice bow. bow! Okay, we just need flippers now. <laughs> yeah, one of them's got a key, buddy. Yeah, okay, so here's your question. I mean, you still be- what? Okay. This is banking pretty hard on like flippers being in like pod or something, right? Right, or, and we've or, seen okay. pod, so yeah, we know unless, that's, it's, unless it's on Helmus or. Yeah, I feel like if you have to reclimb the mountain anyway, you just beat it, don't you? I I would. I it wouldn't take you that much longer, and you you get the uh, item on Trinex and the, the green pendant, and since you just got that bow, you're probably gonna you're gonna take it over to you know Pod Eastern area. Right, and I I, I think they found all the actual items. Trinex had a dungeon item. That's what they were checking. But yeah, okay, green yeah, pendant, yeah. and it yeah, it's a wash on time. It seems that's an interesting choice. Oh, oh, half magic. We miss you. <laughs> oh. 
Gabriel getting clipped a little bit in laser braided here. Yeah, had taken the safety door though, so Excellent. Uh, luckily we'll not lose too much time doing that. Oh, this is a clever, this is a, a heads up play. I would never think to go in here. <laughs> I never would have thought to do that. I, I never, I never see this uh, particular cave when I'm not playing in entrance mode. It's very, uh, very good knowledge of the game. I, I don't even think about that place being there. Yeah, top it off that health. The, the net there would have been a good play, too. Oh, they have a blue, I think. But Spy Cave paying off with the Tempered Sword. It's Rivian, no. I saw that. Yeah, getting a little tilted, I think, on these laser skips, but it really needs to push through this. There's two items they have to have here. Yeah, could not leave these behind. So, I think they may be going for the full magic here. Yeah, I really hope this isn't the train X. Okay, it's not. It's just going to pick up the magic. Okay. Yeah, we can just take the safety door again and reset the dungeon and have that full pot back if they want to take on train X. Yeah, so it's going to get these these items. Um, yeah, great payoff for going back in there immediately. All right, and now is going to go ahead and go back to try next. Well, my name is in pod. Yeah, we've seen everything in pod except the boss. We know there's not anything here they're going to want. Um, I don't remember if Her if Helma has an item, though. <laughs> Gabriel really showing off some good tech here, trying to make use of that fake powder to grab a fairy. Master Sword, Hammer, Trinex. Gets down the ice head. Okay. To be a little bit careful here, does not can only cannot take a hit. Gets it down. Nice fight. Good patience. I was being very careful with just the, the Master Sword slashes instead of pulling up the hammer. Make sure, don't, making sure that he does not die. Yeah, probably a good strategy at that point. Hammer a lot faster than the Master Sword, but you gotta get a lot closer to the snake for that one to work. So, no, good patience on Gabriel's part to take down another boss. 
Yeah, and the way that he gets back into it is that the flippers are there on that green pendant, <laughs> right? Oh, could you imagine? I, I mean, that still puts him in a situation where he's, like, doing swamp looking for the flute, but, uh, you know, that's the, Trinax is something that my Indian is probably not going to go back to uh, for a little bit, although he might get forced into it if the flippers really are there. Right, because I would guess at that point, Mandian would chase, like, the book after Aga, oh, trying yeah. to find him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you turn that green pendant in immediately, don't you? Oh, sure, yeah. I mean, you, You've you, got to beat Eastern anyway. Yeah, you might, you might as well. And you don't have a ton of interest in Pod, so... Just take this, uh... Yeah, it looks no. like the Indium is going to finish Pod, so there must be an item on Helma. Or hasn't done the back yet, never mind. Oh, Gabriel got to keep us in suspense and do Eastern first. Come a on. smart play, but... Uh, no, but it's not. We need to know. Yeah, check does bring up a good point. If you're me and DM, I, I'm. Armos has an item, right? I'm starting to question that. Because... Yeah, I'm thinking. I thought they did question mark, and if that's the case, then you know flippers are just here. You did a lot of work in pod for nothing. Yeah, if there's you know, there's if there's actually a uh, you know item here on Armos, and I would have done this just before pod, and, like before any of that, right? Okay, it was not an item, so... Oh, okay. There was, there'd be no reason to... Might as well uh, do that after this. I'm sorry, BNDM, forgive us. Oh, man. <laughs> and it is on Helmosaur. So that is... Uh, go mode for my Indian. Talk about making the right calls this match. Holy cow. Yeah, you know, not uh, not doing uh, Thieves Town until he acquired the hammer from from Skull Woods, um, and then yeah, going to Mountain, doing that, going to the back of Tour Rock, and even not beating uh, Tridex was <laughs> worked out there. Yeah, and for Gabriel, except for finishing Hera, I don't think there's anything left after this. Well, in Spike Cave, apparently they didn't do Spike Cave. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, he, he did pod early, didn't have the bow, didn't do Helmosaur, so that's, you know, something that he doesn't really want to go back to. And also that's East Town. Like, this just was just a... Really unfortunate uh, C for for him in in, in this in this case. 
Yeah, it's one of those it's one of those scenarios where every gamble you made absolutely backfires and it's really unfortunate. Because we've seen their gameplay and their execution's been really, really well done. A lot of really good boss fights too at hard execution, but yeah, the, the scene was just gonna be rude on this one. Yeah. Uh, to answer a question in chat, the flute is in the Thieves Town big chest. Hammer was on Moth. And it was a Crystal Moth, and the Fire Rod was in Vu. Um, but Gabriel had decided when they went into Thieves Town to just clear it completely, and then just hope that chest was nothing. And unfortunately... Yeah, it looks like it looks like Gabriel has finally reached the point where this is the only thing in logic now for him, and he has decided that he is just going to go ahead and get that flute. Uh, but still, it's going to be. Uh, you know, probably last locating those flippers on Helmasar as well. Right, it was it was pretty much down to do I go back in and beat Helmasar out of logic, or do I come back to Thieves Town? Yeah, yeah. And unfortunately, they need them both. It's just terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because as soon as they find this flute, they're going to chase it for all that it's worth, assuming the flippers are behind it. And it turns out, logically, you're right, because the flute leads to Lant, which leads to Mountain, which leads to all the other fun stuff. Yeah, which leads to Bow, which leads to Helmstar. <laughs> so, incoming trauma. We get a relatively quick swamp here from uh, my Indium. Um... I guess the only drama with this uh, swamp visit for him will be well, how much will he check for uh, for silvers? I would doubt very much. You have to feel pretty good about all your calls at this point. So probably not. Yeah, probably not checking much other than you know, diver down chests right there. Yeah, I think diver down I would grab, and that's about it. Gabriel gonna activate their flute, take off right to Myra, I would assume. Yeah, got Meyer and Desert. Absolutely no reason not to go and do both of those places. indicating one of the items that was limited by the hard item pool, so could be the another sword, could be a mail. Yeah. It's always it's always fun to see that. Say like, oh I could have had could have had whatever that was. Yeah, to answer a question in chat, there are silvers in this pool, but instead of having progressive bows where you can find either one in any order, there is only one bow and then one item as silver is placed somewhere else. Yes, and that is just, uh, that is, uh, you know, something in this particular hard item pool um, where that is the case. There's other hard item pools where you don't get silvers. Uh, yeah, because there's 17 different versions of hard. A lot of different versions of hard, yeah. And also, um, the other question in chat, there's no butter sword in this uh, in this version of hard, or most any version of hard, really, but 
since this is the one we're we're thinking about, that yeah, there's there's no fourth fourth so tempered is as good as it gets. Yeah, because we at ALTTPR, uh, we can't be particular or agree on any one thing. No, no, no. Hundred modes are nothing. Oh, well, would you look at there? Seven crystals. Wow. What do we get to go to next? Get a potion, I would assume. Oh, it still has one. Well, since we're going up to Ganon's Tower to try to finish this game, there are 22 checks in the basement of Ganon's Tower that may have the big key. And put a number in chat if you'd like to guess which one. And if you are the first one to guess correctly, you will win the love and adoration of your peers. Don't overpromise. You will have the love and adoration of Hydropower. Okay, there we go. All right, Maddie, what are you feeling? Um, I always go with eight. It's always my number. It's never right. What about you? Um, I like to go low just because I want to see it and get it over with. So I'm going to say four. Uh, I will tell you what it is not going to be. It is not going to be in Double Fireball Room, because it's never there. It is never there, yeah. That room is the Agena Cave of the Dungeon World. It's never, never there until it is. There's a desert clear for Gabriel, trying to uh, work his way back. Um, it just also doesn't have uh, uh, the temper sword because it was in Spike Cave. Just not getting, not getting any luck here. <laughs> everything he skips is the worst thing to skip. Yeah, and we've all had those scenes where it's just like everything you try to do just absolutely <laughs> backfires. And then you find the, you know, one of those things you skip, and you're like, well, it's just got to be on the way, right? It can't be all the other things. That, well, unfortunately, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mindy, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, Stalfos room first. Let's see if they want a Dark Magician or continue left. Three. Four is a map. Five's another small key, and there's a mirror way. To the right side we go. Six and seven are a whole hot nothing. Yep, so here we are going into Compass Room.
We're still looking. I lost count. Uh, what is it from? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13? So this is 14, 15, 16, 17? No? Yes? Maybe? I don't know. There it is, right there, in that chest. Ah, oh, the filet. And just to make sure there's no silver. Okay, there we go. And yeah, we lost Gabriel's stream, uh, so we'll just be watching uh, my Dean finish this out here. to Morgai84 for making the correct call of 14. Well done. GG's to you. Now it's that far, fun part of the game that we've all done a thousand times. <laughs> just the muscle memory take over. That's right. The, 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 the rando's over. Uh, now we just, uh, now it's just uh, playing the game. Yeah, it's one of those things I like to talk about whenever I get to do comms. If you're looking for a place to really shore up your game, here we go this in the uh, the escape sequence, because guess what? You're going to do it a lot. Yeah, and there's a, a lot of time to be gained by playing, doing this well. Every scene. So Mandium uh, decides to powder that anti-fairy, and when you do that, it makes the landmo sequence accelerate just a little bit. So if you time it well, you can get all of them to pop out, and you can just spin your nice little sword and get them all at once. So a good strat there. Keep the chaos from that fight happening just a little bit. Yeah, and hold on to some magic for the, uh, the upcoming torch rooms. Instead of using the fire rod. Clean that up nicely. He was just giving them a fighting chance, you know, real sportsmanlike. We do like to see good sportsmanship, uh, don't we? Oh, toe that line, but gets that lamp to lamp that last torch. Good job. No silver's on the climb, so I'm interested to see where Ganon's going to say. I kind of want him to say Light World. Because there's not a lot of Light World places left <laughs> not a that lot of don't involve a book. Yeah, that could be what the book was for. <laughs> That's the silver arrows. Nice double to start. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice double. Barely got that last one. That was generous. And we'll take it. Yeah. Two, two, two. Nice birdie. That's right. Get him. Swat him. Get him. Oh, you missed. Got away again. You have to follow him. Go intergalactic duck all of a sudden. Missing the one-on-one, -on -one, but gets a great setup for the second phase up here. Yes, it's very nice when Ganon is helpful and stands right there, so you can just spin him in that corner. Yeah, just a reminder, we are still on green mail in this mode, as that fire bat clips him for four hearts. We ended up finding uh, so many heart pieces, though, that we are at 16 hearts, so. <laughs> Dark world. It's boring. Actually, what's left in Dark world? Is it Pyramid Fairy? I don't know if there's anything it's, else. It's got to be Pyramid Fairy. Vanilla Silvers. So unoriginal. Didn't even try to hide it. Yeah, the ledge had uh, 20 bucks. I think, uh, I think Gabriel checked that after their pod dip. And there it is. Yeah, get your GGs in chat. Right, gotta win one more fight against this bridge. And there it is, GGs. The winner is me and DM, who will now be in brackets for the Challenge Cup. Well done. Yep, and we'll uh, see if we can get our runners in here for an interview. I love that Triforce text. That's a good one. Yeah. And hello, we are joined by my DM, GG's. Hey, good game. At GG's, man. That was a seed. I didn't really like that seed, but that was a seed anyway. Yeah, there was a couple... There is a couple pretty rough sticking spots. The uh, the flippers were only the last of a long chain of well, that was kind of awful. Yeah, they uh the hammer on Mavula and then not mm -hmm. doing Thieves Town before that kinda was the, the breaker of this scene, but there's a whole bunch of places that now these are branches pretty stacked. <laughs> it was pretty dry from the start. Yeah, I was sitting there, and I pull the hook shot, and I say, all right, well, I'm still going to try next on this. And then I pull the bow, and I said, all right, fine, look, I'll clear the rest of laser bridge, but I'm just, I'm flippers go. It's It's got to be behind this bow, right? It's either in Pyramid Ferry, or it's just in Pod somewhere, and I have to clear Eastern anyway, so let's just go. We'll clear all the items out of Pod. I'm, I'm not killing the boss. I've already said no dependence, but then, then there was an item on the boss, so I had to go anyway. And yeah, that was... That was the idea, plus I didn't really want to do Master Sword regular magic Trinex because I'm terrible at the Trinex hammer fight, kicked of you. So, uh, your opponent checked Lumberjack immediately. 
you kind of put it off until you had boots. Was there any point in the time when you saw that book up there and you're like, well, dang it. <laughs> I saw it and my first thought was, I don't like that. And my second thought was, well, as long as I find the flute somewhere, since I'm already mitts Dark World access, I probably don't care. And if something dumb like a the bow, the bow, is, given that we have this modified hard pool where the bow and the silvers are separate items, then if the bow is on one of those tablets, well, I'm I'm just in trouble. And then it wasn't. Yeah, that's something that might have been in your mind, I guess, but yeah, <laughs> just not going to do that, huh? There was no point in time where I thought, I have I have to rush this book to get two checks on tablets. That was that was not a going concern. It's if I get down to a point where that's my play, great. I'll, I'll tie it in with finally checking Dark Cross and stuff. Like if I had done pod and then finished Eastern and still didn't have anything when I took Orange bombed Pyramid Fairy and checked Pyramid, Pyramid Fairy, Catfish, or well, left off Catfish for a minute and done that and then unlocked Book so that I could go get it after Catfish. It would have been functionally a last location aside from Trinex and whatever the other item was in Hera, but here we are. Yeah, I think it's hard not to, to last locate that. And uh, we are also joined here by Gabriel uh, Campos. GG's. GG's. Gabriel, GG. Hey. I'm sorry, you that seed a... was you that seed a... was rough. It was a awful seed. Yeah, you you made a lot of plays, and it, it, every one of them really just seemed to backfire on you. If any one of those would have turned around, this is a whole different seed. Like if that green pendant has the flippers, this is a whole other race. Yeah. Oh, I would never have gotten back to that. That I would have fished out the other item in Tower of Hera before I went back for the green pendant on Trinex. That no, that was a hard last locate at that point. That was a that was a rando choice, and it worked this time. Yeah. I before my PC turned out, I was doing Agatha. I I think. I thought about that book in, in the Lumber Check. So, it was a CD. Yeah, we had brought that up earlier with me and about you see that book on Lumberjack and you start, when do you start thinking that could be my out? What do I do that? And it, it just nags at the back of your brain. Wait, uh, uh, can, can you talk up uh, more slow, slowly, please? My, my English is not too good. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I tend to talk a little quick, so I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, I believe the question was, when in your thought process did it come up that you were going to make the book something that you were going to go ahead and push that check because your answer might have been behind it? I, I did, I did uh, a, a full clear of pod, but we, uh, with, without the ball, so it was only one check, and it was my last location, <laughs> so. Yeah, it, it made a lot of sense because you did pod early and cleared it out, but you didn't have the bow, so you couldn't beat Helmosaur. And yeah, you don't want to go back in and just just for Helmosaur. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the other thing being the Thief's Town Big Chest, how much um, was that weighing on your mind? Uh, especially when you got the hammer from Mothula right you know, right after that. I, when I get the hammer, I did everything of the road, uh, thinking it's an un, un lamp, have to be a lamp. So I did everything before the mountain, 
and when I saw, wait, can it be the, the, the Ocarina? I, I did the, 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 the yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is really unfortunate that uh, I was talking with uh, Talon and saying, like, I would have definitely done that too. Gone back into Thieves without that hammer and cleared the back because uh, I got the key, got the small key. So, yeah. Yeah. It's a um, slowly check going back to to Chief's Town. So, it, it was a um, last location for me. Yep, yep. And that chest and I have something of a history in tournament races at this point. There was in uh, in groups last year, I had a mirror in there, and both I and my opponent went in without the hammer, and the call was going back for it earlier that did it. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess... Uh, Mayan, you hadn't even gone into Thieves at all. If if the hammer hadn't been on Mothula, was that going to be the next place you went? Well, I was I was just trying to put off the Thieves play for a hot minute. It felt like nothing was really coming out in the early going, and so I was kind of hoping to loop all that overworld in one go. And I'm sure you guys caught the part where I tried to go to Swamp Palace with no flippers and... At least I didn't, like, flood the <laughs> dam and do the whole thing before coming to that realization, but I definitely mirrored, and then I had that second thought of, yeah. okay, yeah. well, that's 20 seconds that I just threw away. Let's let's go back to the things that I'm supposed to be doing. And it, at that point, it, it was just, all right, and I'm going to take a second loop. I've got this fire rod now. I'll just go and do moth. I'll sweep down. I'll do thieves down, and it'll be what it'll be. And the hammer coming off of Mothiella was a bit of a happy accident. Yep. That was, yeah. I did see that swamp uh, dive. I appreciated the idea. I just couldn't do it, unfortunately. No, and that's a play that I'll make all the time when I have Mitz Dark World access, because getting back to that spot without a hammer is really slow. It's very bad, yeah. Of course, it's even slower when you try to make the play and you can't because you don't have flippers, but uh, just bring flippers next time, forehead. That's all you have to do. Don't forget the pack of footwear. Speaking of packing footwear, how about that Zora check, huh? Oh, yeah, that was uh, so long ago. I almost that forgot was, about that. Yeah, boots. that was hard required boots for mitts in the Bonk Rocks. If I'm not going completely yeah. insane. There was something in Bonk Rocks. I remember getting something in Bonk Rocks I was happy with. Yeah. I think that was the mitts. That was the mitts, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. goldfish brain is starting to attack. The seed was an hour and 40 minutes long. I don't remember the beginning of it anymore. Yeah, that was a case where Gabriel had uh, gone up the mountain just a little bit, done, uh, you know, gotten that mirror, uh, gone up the mountain, did, uh, got the 300 rupees from Old Man, so did not have to do the hand that you did. Um, and, but yeah, came back, had to come back for Zora. Uh, and uh, get that Dark World access. There's no avoiding it. I like how I did that Hulahan, and I was still going to be short rupees for the dig game. Well, then you got to show up your arrow game, so. Yeah. <laughs> Very rare, actual, useful arrow game in non-inverted, but eh, here we are. Yeah, so... Um... Taylor, do you have any other questions, or uh, should we go ahead and get some final thoughts here? Yeah, I know. Uh, GGs to both runners. Great race. The really, really good execution from both runners um, and good po boss fights when necessary. So, uh, really great job showing off the skills. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, match sword, fire sword, boss fights that went really, really, really well. Uh, for both of you, so and a lot of good tricks and 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 tech, uh, game knowledge. It was all good. It was, it was great stuff. Um, well, um, Gabriel, any any final thoughts from your end on the seed, or in general? Uh, I I don't I don't. It was only an awful seed. <laughs> it was. 
Uh, you will uh, not get any argument from me there. Good game to you, sir. Yeah. Um, any 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 uh, any other thoughts, my Indian? That seed was a terrible seed. I hated basically every minute of it until the dot done. <laughs> <laughs> I dislike this mode of of all of the tournament modes. I think this one is my least favorite. Fair enough. But you know, such is life. Here we are. Yep. Well, you're moving on. You're still playing in the tournament. You're in the brackets now. Then there is an outside shot pending the outcome of tomorrow's game that I get to play a friend in the first round now. Ooh. If Tabby beats my friend Tiverius tomorrow, I get to play my friend Kaysden. So my my loyalties are a little conflicted. I'm going to be on the call for that game tomorrow, by the way. So this is uh, this is a little yeah. little foretaste of what is to come. I'm. I'm good friends with Ty. He and I have been part of the same kind of sub-community of the Link to the Past rando community for several years now. And we've played this. We've played some Dragon Warrior Randomizer together. And he's a good buddy of mine. And I'd really like him to win. But if he loses, I get to play another really good buddy of mine who's part of another little subgrouping of the Link to the Past rando community. <laughs> So either he wins and I'm happy or he loses and I get to face another friend and I'm still kind of happy but a little bittersweet about it. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I have to look forward to. All right. Well, yeah, it'll be watching with great interest because you'll be calling the game, so you'll definitely be paying attention. Have you seen how people actually call this game? If it weren't for the trackers, nothing would get done. Who tracked this for us? Scoopula? It's, it's true, yeah. How was going to get to that? Yeah, Scoopula was the one that tracked for us, and thank him very much for, for that. Uh, and um, we also thank Baseball for putting this uh, restream on and uh, giving us a chance to watch this race. And thanks to Gabriel and my Indian for letting us uh, watch them play and chatter over them. And thanks, Taylor, for joining me and having a good time talking about this race yeah thank you very much for the uh, opportunity to do some comms genius to our runners and hey if you like this and you want a little bit more uh, as me and dm said there's another one i think getting the restream treatment tomorrow come on back join us again 5 30 p.m i believe eastern that's right um all right i think that will be it for us thank you everyone for watching and uh have a good uh rest of your day evening afternoon whatever you have Thanks, everyone. All right. Thank you for that wonderful outro, everyone. Um, yes, thank you all so much for watching. As they said, tomorrow, 5.30 Eastern, we'll have another one of these. So make sure you come back for that. Yeah. Um, thanks to all of our volunteers today and for tomorrow as well. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm just going to send us over to... Nukes, who is doing some Wind Waker rando. I love Nukes, and I've always wanted to raid her, but she's never live when I'm in charge of this. Um, so yes, very excited. Hope you enjoy that, uh, and I will see all of you next time. Bye! Thank you.